Welcome back YouTube channel master auto information in please like and subscribe to my channel watching the video. The Sukhoi Su-30 Mk is one of the most iconic and formidable fighter jets in the Indian Air Force's arsenal. As of 2025, it continues to dominate the skies with enhanced capabilities, upgraded avionics, and modern weapons systems. A symbol of Indo-Russian collaboration. The Su-30 Mk has evolved into a platform that matches the demands of modern aerial warfare. Its versatility, range, payload, and adaptability make it one of the most potent multi-role fighter jets in Asia. Built by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited under license from Russia's Sukhoi Design Bureau, the Su-30 Mk is a twin-engine, multi-role air superiority fighter. The MKI stands for Modernizy Rovani Komercheski Indiski which means modernized commercial for India. Since its induction into the F in the early 2000s, it has seen continuous upgrades in radar, sensors, avionics, and weapons integration. In 2025, the Su-30 Mk stands at the forefront of India's air power, thanks to the continuous modernization programs. With the Super Sukhoi upgrade project well underway, the latest variant is significantly more capable than its predecessors. It includes improvements like radar cross-section reduction, advanced jamming pods, ASA radar, and integration of Indian and Western origin weapons. One of the biggest upgrades is the new radar system. The Su-30 Mk is being equipped with an indigenous Yatam ASA radar developed by DRDO. This radar significantly enhances detection range tracking multiple targets simultaneously, and guiding weapons more effectively. With better resistance to jamming and a broader field of view, it gives the pilot a strong situational awareness advantage in combat scenarios. Another major improvement is in the cockpit and mission computer systems. The new Su-30 Mkis come with fully digital glass cockpits, improved displays, better pilot interface, and increased data link capabilities. The mission computer is more powerful, enabling faster processing of sensor data, target identification, and real-time decision-making. The aircraft's avionics suite is now more compatible with next-generation Indian systems, including those used in the Tejas MK-1A and the upcoming AMCA. When it comes to armament, the 2025 Su-30 Mk is a beast. It is capable of carrying a massive payload of up to 8 tons across 12 hard points. The aircraft can launch a wide array of weapons, including beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles like Astra Mk-1 and Mk-2, short-range missiles like R-73, and the deadly BrahMos A supersonic cruise missile. BrahMos integration is one of the most significant milestones giving the aircraft a long-range precision strike capability against sea and ground targets. With the upcoming BrahMos NG, next generation, variant, the Su-30 Mk will be able to carry up to two BrahMos missiles a one under each winger without compromising maneuverability. This significantly enhances the aircraft's standoff strike capability, allowing it to engage high-value targets without entering enemy airspace. Additionally, the air-to-air -air Astra Mk2, with a range exceeding 150 km, gives it formidable beyond visual range combat superiority. In terms of performance, the Su-30 Mk remains unmatched in its category. It is powered by two AL31FP afterburning turbofan engines that provide a thrust of 27,500 pounds each. These engines feature thrust vectoring nozzles, allowing the aircraft to perform advanced maneuvers like the Cobra and the Culbit. These maneuvers give the Su-30 Mk superior dogfighting ability, allowing it to outmaneuver most fourth-generation fighters in close combat. The aircraft has a top speed of Mach 2.0 and a combat range of around 1,500 km, which can be extended with in-flight refueling. Its operational ceiling is 56,800 feet and it has a ferry range of over 3,000 km. The Su-30 Mk is equipped with a fly-by-wire system and a digital quadruplex flight control system that allows the pilot to maintain control even in extreme angles of attack. One of the biggest advantages of the Su-30 Mk is its multi-role capability. It can perform air dominance, ground attack, maritime strike, 
reconnaissance, and electronic warfare missions. The F often deploys Su-30 MKIs for strategic missions, including patrols near the line of actual control and maritime surveillance in the Indian Ocean region. It has also been used in joint exercises with foreign air forces, including those of the USA, France, UK, and Australia, proving its metal in simulated combat environments. In 2025, the Su-30 MK is also receiving new electronic warfare suites developed indigenously. These systems include jamming pods, radar warning receivers, and tow decoys, significantly increasing survivability in contested airspace. The aircraft is now also being equipped with a digital radar cross-section reduction coating and advanced composite materials to lower detectability by enemy radars. Another notable feature of the 2025 Su-30 MK is its compatibility with network-centric warfare systems. It can share data in real time with other fighters, AWACS, and ground stations. This allows it to function as part of an integrated battle group, improving overall battlefield awareness and mission coordination. These capabilities are being developed under India's Integrated Air Command and Control System, EACS program. The Super Sukhoi upgrade program also includes improvements in the aircraft's survivability. This includes advanced flare and chaff dispensers, infrared countermeasure systems, and better engine shielding. The engines themselves are being upgraded to the AL-41F variant in some units, offering better fuel efficiency, thrust, and reliability. Some proposals even include integrating a variant of India's Kaveri engine for future indigenous production. Another major push is the indigenization of spare parts and maintenance components. Previously, a lot of critical parts had to be imported from Russia, which sometimes caused delays in operational readiness. Now, Indian defense industries are producing many of these components locally under the Make in India initiative. This not only ensures better availability of spares but also reduces the cost of maintenance. Training and simulation capabilities for Su-30 MK pilots have also advanced in recent years. The F has invested in high-fidelity simulators that replicate real combat environments. These simulators include scenarios for dogfighting, BVR engagements, strike missions, and evasion techniques. The aim is to reduce risk during live training and enhance pilot performance before real-world operations. When it comes to exports, the Su-30 MK's success has also inspired variants sold to other countries. While India operates the MKI version, countries like Malaysia, Algeria, and Vietnam operate similar variants. However, India's Su-30 MK remains unique with its combination of Russian airframe, Indian avionics, and both Indian and Western weapons. It represents one of the most customized and sophisticated versions of the Su-30 family in the world. The aircraft's operational history also speaks volumes about its capability. Su-30 MKIs were deployed during the Balakot airstrikes and the subsequent skirmish with Pakistani aircraft in 2019. Although not directly engaged in dogfights, they provided valuable air cover and situational awareness. The aircraft continues to play a key role in India's deterrence posture along both western and eastern fronts. With over 270 Su-30 MKIs in service and more being upgraded, the aircraft forms the backbone of the Indian Air Force. Its adaptability, combined with continuous upgrades, ensures it remains relevant even in the age of fifth-generation fighters. As India prepares to induct the IMCA and more Rafals in the future, the Su-30 IMCA will continue to complement these platforms with its sheer power, range, and versatility. Looking ahead, the integration of AI-based systems is being explored to assist the pilot in managing complex combat scenarios. Features like voice-assisted controls, threat recognition systems, and predictive maintenance tools are being tested. These will enhance pilot efficiency and reduce workload during high-stress missions. In conclusion, the 2025 Sukhoi Su-30 MK is more than just a fighter aircraft to its a symbol of India's aerospace ambition and strategic strength. Through constant modernization, indigenous innovation, 
and superior adaptability, the Su-30 Mkir remains one of the most respected and feared aircraft in the skies of Asia, with programs like Super Sukhoi and indigenous radar and weapons integration. It is prepared to meet any challenge in modern warfare. The story of the Su-30 Mk is far from over it continues to evolve as a guardian of India's skies. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Master Auto Information for more such videos.